Hello and welcome back. Here I'm going to show you some basic geometrical constructions that we use a lot in engineering drawing. Right. Use a lot in maths as well. So let's say I want a perpendicular from here passing through that point. What you need to do is open your compass as much as you like, draw two equidistant points there and there. From here, open the compass a bit more, you draw an arc that intersects the other from both points, and that gives you a perpendicular. If you want to bisect the angle, again, open the compass as much as you like, go to mark a mark. An arc over there and an arc over there. Open it as much as you like. From there, I've marked somewhere in the middle, and this intersects. This gives you a 45 degree angle. So I've constructed a 90 degree angle and 45 degree angle using only the compasses. You could use the compasses that also to construct a 60 degree angle so that's your base of your circle of your angle i open the compass as much as i like and i'm draw an arc from the base going up way to the top keeping the same radius of the compass from here where the arc meets the line i'm going to draw another arc like that if you had to draw the draw the join these three points you'll get an equilateral triangle and an equilateral triangle all sides and all angles are equal and all angles are 60 degrees but i just want one angle and that gives you a 60 degree angle if you bisect this go from this point mark somewhere in between and from this point you will bisect the 60 degrees to get a 30 degree angle using only the compasses. I'm going to show you how to divide the line in any number of parts. So I've got a line randomly like that and I want to divide it into an equal number of parts. Let's say I want to divide it into five parts. Now if it's a multiple of 5, let's say it's 50 millimeters, and you want to divide it in 5, you get 10 millimeter each and using a ruler it's very easy to divide that. But if it's, if it's not a multiple of, your, of the number you want to divide it into, let's say it's 54 millimeters, you will not get, you will not get the accuracy enough with the ruler to get those divisions equally if you use a calculator if you and that will leave the last division that margin of error will add up to the last division leaving you a significant amount of error so the method is like this if you want to divide this line so i'm going to darken it a bit more so that's your original line and you want to divide it into five equal parts I've taken an end of the line, so I've taken, I've chosen this, but you could have just as well chosen it, and I've drawn another line at an angle to it. It doesn't matter what angle it is, and it doesn't matter what length it is. That's up to you. And on this new line, I'm going to draw mark off five equal parts. They could be any length. One, two, three, four, five. Just as long they're all equal. Make sure that you've got five spaces, not five dots. Five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Then using your set square, I'm going to connect the fifth line, the fifth division, with the end of the line. Keeping this at the same angle, I'm going to draw parallel lines to meet my original line. Now 
this should give you five equal parts of your line. You can check them out. Obviously, you have to work accurately to get good results. Those are very, very common geometrical constructions we use in technical design or graphical communication or engineering drawing, whatever you, whatever you study. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask comments or questions.